And I think um, let me just say something about poverty again. Um, so uh, it's striking that the only countries that have really eliminated poverty are probably some of the countries you like least. So again, the Nordic model, Scandinavia. There basically is no poverty in those countries. They're not very capitalist. Um, I think of these things on a spectrum. So uh, you might as well. Well, actually, no, you don't, because you only define capitalism as that one extreme end. But 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 really, there's a spectrum. Um, and the question is, to what degree is society in control of the economy? The more the answer is yes, the more socialist it is. Norway is quite socialist in that sense. Society cannot be in control of the economy because society is a concept. Concepts can't control anything. The economy is a concept. Concepts cannot be controlled. So something that can't control something cannot control something that cannot be controlled. Sense. Society exerts a lot of control through, the, through its very democratic state over the economy. And one of the things it does with that control is it taxes a lot and then it redistributes. Society does not tax. Society is a concept. Individuals calling themselves government extort people for money. It's, it's the, the collective language obfuscates most of reality these days. It's that wealth to do a lot of useful things among them basically eliminating poverty. So um, the, you know, the answer to your question in the American context is we need to have more social spending. We need to have more taxation. We need to do more uh, to, help, to help people. For, for instance, we, we, we. I'll just end with this. Um, here's one thing we could do. We could have a universal basic income um, that would literally eliminate poverty overnight. Uh, we could literally just give every American $15,000 a year, um, divide it up monthly if you want, and bam, poverty's gone. Just like that. It, it wouldn't like inflate the, the prices of literally everything because everyone would have more money. So why wouldn't all businesses raise prices by an amount equal to that which is being artificially injected into everyone's wallets? You know, that wouldn't happen. I, I think this has been done before and that's been shown to actually be how it works. If you give everybody like... Like if you're, uh, have you ever been to like the children's, um, we did this way back when I was in elementary school. So we went to this, like, it was a field trip day and it was like, we all got to be entrepreneurs. We all got to pick which of the, it was, a, it was like a mall with a big hallway that walked around in a giant kind of loop. And there was a bunch of, um, rooms and everybody got to pick what business they wanted to run for the day. So it was like, it was, it became your business. You got to pick. And I forgot which business I picked, but um, you know, you have to worry about supply and costs and your prices and sales and, you know, marketing and, you know, your budget and all this stuff. And then what they did is they gave everyone that was a customer in the building 10 monies. I forgot what the money denomination was. That informed our prices. We knew how much money everybody had. We estimated how much they would be willing to spend on our widget and we set our prices accordingly, less according to the cost of the supply, the cost of the labor that would re you know, be required to produce the product. We set it based on how much money we knew everybody was being given. This is like basic, obvious stuff. If, if I know that all of my customers have 10 grand a year, 15 grand a year extra now, why wouldn't I raise my prices a little bit? So you just you're you're looking at this whole supply and demand thing wrong there, bucko. Whenever it comes to Yang Gang 2020, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yang Gang 2020 represent. Yeah. Uh, whenever it comes to that, you just need to have a heart and you need to not want people to be poor and not consider the whole supply and demand curve works with mo uh, you know a supply of money. <laughs> as well that's 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 one thing that i've noticed that a lot of people don't uh, take into account whenever they're talking about universal basic income which is exactly what this guy is proposing exactly like even with uh you know he's not going to uh, yang is not going to raise extortion taxes he's going to print uh you know how much a thousand bucks a month or whatever for every person every citizen of the country uh, uh, why wouldn't the prices of everything just go up to match? Of course they will. Of course they will. That's just how it works.